your backups are useless if they're damaged. That's why Rustic has some built-in checking and repairing features. The check command allows you to check for errors in the repository, and the repair command tries to fix any of those issues that may be affecting the repository. We'll go back to working with the media backup that I did in the last video, where I showed you how to backup using multiple computers. Here's what we have with our snapshots. Again, we have these four snapshots. Let's go ahead and run a check on this repository. So if we do rustic check and we'll apply the read data flag. And what this will do is read all the data in the repository and check for errors. Now this process, depending on the size of the backup and the storage device, this is going to take quite a bit of time. We see no errors were found and it checks in under 30 seconds. If we remove this read data, it does a check much more quickly, but it's not as thorough. So when you want to check for errors, you want to use the read data flag. Because the read data flag reads the entire repository, this can be extremely taxing on your hardware and expensive, especially if your backup is on a cloud service like Amazon or Backblaze. So when should you check for errors? I'd say every time you back up, it would be helpful to at least run the repository check command without the read data. But every now and then, you definitely want to use the read data flag to ensure that there's absolutely no problems with the repository. When setting up automatic backups, having a task check the backup maybe every once a week or once a month with read data check and logging it out to a file could be very useful. To log to a file, we could just run the check command and output it to a text file. I'll call it errors.log and we'll send that output to a text file. And this creates a simple little log file when it's done checking. Let's open that and we have the results. No errors found. Often errors revolve around damaged files in the repository. Usually removing and pruning problematic snapshots is enough. Errors can be the result of anything, especially hardware. A damaged drive can easily light up errors in the repository. I don't have a broken rustic backup to demonstrate one to fix, but I can show you some commands that can help you in case you run into errors. We'll look at the rustic repair command. If we do rustic repair, the first thing you want to repair is the index. So we could do repair index. And what this will do is rebuild the entire index hopefully resolving some errors. If that doesn't work, you can try to repair snapshots. And in this case, nothing was modified because we don't have any broken snapshots. If we run snapshots, if we had some repaired snapshots, what you would see is a new snapshot with a tag repair. Here I have an old backup drive that I just plugged in and it has a backup of my home theater labeled unknown. A while back, I had problems with this backup and ran into some errors, but I was able to repair those errors using the repair snapshots. If I do snapshots on this repository, we can see that all of those snapshots that were repaired have been labeled repaired. When you run the rustic repair, it will always create new snapshots with the tag repaired. However, those old snapshots will still remain in the repository. You can remove them using the forget flag. And what this will do is go ahead and create those new repaired snapshots and remove the old error prone ones. Hopefully these simple commands help fix any errors that may arise in your backups. However, in cases where you're still receiving errors, your best option is to visit the rustic form. Every possible error that you could encounter has been asked about at least once on this form. And members are very quick to respond. So if you're going to be using rustic for serious backup, you absolutely want to join this form. But truly, your ultimate solution when it comes to repairing broken backups, in my honest opinion, is simply having multiple backups across different devices and or services. Like right now, if one of my backups just went up in flames, it's not a problem. I have multiple copies, multiple backups. The next video, I'll be showing you how to check the size of your backups using the stats command.